Oh, I didn't say it this time. Recording in progress. All right, good. Okay, uh, all my problems have been solved. Um, for me, um, I sort of see all the course lessons as being holographic. So th I think the question I was asked was, how can you just apply this lesson? All my problems have been solved, or this problem has been solved, all the way up to enlightenment until the ego no longer exists. And you could do that. I mean, that for me, um, I could, if that was the only lesson I used, I mean, for me, every lesson has intrinsic within it enough to fully dissolve the ego if applied in the correct way. Um, so, <clears throat> so, I mean, for me, like all my problems have been solved is the same as me saying God did not create it, does not exist. I would just apply it in the same way uh, for, for me. So let's say, um, um, uh, thoughts arise of the future and going to Bangladesh, then I'd say, I'd say, um, for example, this problem has been solved. And when I say it, I'll say it with the power, you know, I'm trying to invoke, um, using language here, invoke the, the power of divinity, invoke the power of the infinite, that, uh, that it, 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 that it, it's, uh, I forgot what the lesson was, oh, my problems have been solved, yeah, that this problem has already been solved. And all I need to do is get out of ego and be in the infinite where this no longer exists, and it is solved. That, oh, on a practical note, it was a course of miracle. Yes, when I transcend or a problem dissolves, I mean, that is a miracle in itself. But, um, and I shouldn't really say this, I'll probably get told off a little bit by the Holy Spirit. My experience is um, usually in, in what seems to be the world, there's a miracle as well. Now, there's two ways that um, all my, my problem can be solved. One is like, you don't see the problem and you don't even know it ever existed, which is a miracle. But it seems to, in my experience, that sometimes when you dissolve the problem in you, it seems in the world some awesomely miraculous thing has occurred, you know, uh, and it's like, oh, so there's power in actually collapsing my projections of the world. And what I mean by that, like my mother once had a swollen foot, a redeemer, I did God did not create a redeemer in my mother, or I could say, this problem of uedema in my mother's leg has been solved. So this is how I do it. It's like you say it with the refute, with the absolute conviction and the authority that God has the power to delete that and perform a miracle. It's, uh, it's probably the wrong way of, of talking, but um, I guess God has, you know, uh, this problem with my mother's foot has been solved and I'll probably disappear it into the light or something like that over and over again until, now if you do that, and here's a tip, one of my tips, do it at 100 miles an hour until it dissolves, until it no longer exists for you, until you try and think about it, you can't think about it. It's like you're off, you know, it's it just, you can't even think. That happens to me when I, when I, when I start to lose something, it, I could hardly even try and pull it back because it's dissolved so much that is, is disappeared. Even if I try and think about it, it's like it hardly can register. So just do it, do it at 100 miles an hour if you're in real trouble. It's a tip. Um, do it with the absolute conviction of, of the spiritual experiences you've had in the past, like where there no problems exist or the, uh, the Holy Spirit called the Holy Instant, knowing that does not exist, that it's registering within my ego as some kind of limitation. Uh, but that's just for your ego, that's your ego projection, that's not, not in truth, it has been solved. Um, only your ego can have a problem, and in truth, um, uh, if you're in the truth, then that problem has been solved. So your only problem is you're in your ego and you're projecting that there is a problem that hasn't been solved. Um, so how I do that, so if it's like, okay, you can only use this course lesson and don't use any of the other things then um, I just do that. Because for me, once you realize how to transcend something, it's almost like um, you can use anything, any set of words or any, anything to dissolve it. Because really you could say you're invoking the Holy Spirit to collapse, um, which I mean, the Holy Spirit, I mean, for me, my view is the Holy Spirit gets what you're, what you're saying. Um, <laughs> doesn't need an interpreter. Like, the, you know, it's like me, me and my ego saying to the Holy Spirit, this has been solved like help me out here, <laughs> this has been solved. It will, it will get solved in my view, yeah. Okay, so I'll stop that.